Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and we're taking a look at iOS 13 on the iPhone SE. If you have an iPhone SE, then you need to watch this video to learn about whether you should install or not install iOS 13 on your iPhone SE. So we're going to focus on the new features of iOS 13, how they work on the SE, also performance and battery life of iOS 13 on the iPhone SE. With iOS 13, of course, Apple has brought a ton of new features to the iPhone. And what I really like about iOS 13 is that they have put all of these new features to older devices as well. Like nothing is missing here. All the new features that you get on the newer devices, you can get on older devices as well with the iOS 13. One of them being the dark mode. I was really surprised to see how good this looks on the iPhone SE. So you can see the dark mode here. It looks just amazing. The blacks are very nice there and it looks really, really good. And this iPhone is black, of course, and it makes it look that much better. And a very welcome change is also the new volume hood. Even though this iPhone has like a small display, when the old volume hood popped up in here, it just covered basically a lot of the display. With the new volume hood, it looks very, very good. Very nice to have it just on the corner right there. It basically gives you all the space you need on your screen with this new smaller volume volume hood that you get with iOS 13 on the iPhone SE. And another welcome change is the Memojis are now on older devices as well as the iPhone SE. You can see right here you have the Memojis and of course you will also have your Memojis stickers right here. So with iOS 13 you can get the Memojis even on an iPhone SE which is quite an old device and Apple has brought support to Memojis on all devices with iOS 13. You probably know that the iPhone SE is quite an old device and doesn't have the 3D touch screen and a lot of devices don't have it even though they're newer devices but with iOS 13 Apple has brought this like haptic touch or whatever they call it on the iPhone SE of course you don't have like a haptic feedback but you will get like this long press which is I believe that's what they call it now on the iPhone SE is a long press to get the quick menu here it is really really welcome to have this feature even though it doesn't have a force touch screen even on the control center if you go right here you will have the new feature like to change quickly change between different wi-fi networks or different bluetooth devices simply by force touching or long pressing on the icon right there that's really really welcome now the overall performance of iOS 13 on the iPhone SE is really really good I have di I did a test between iOS 12 and iOS 13 on the iPhone SE and I can say it performs better with iOS 13 especially launching apps like the stock apps of Apple that you have on your device will launch way way faster than they do on iOS 12. Now the only like part where iOS 12 did better than iOS 13 was the Geekbench score but it was just a slight difference nothing that you will notice on the everyday use. As for the battery life I basically battery life is the same in my experience even on other devices the battery life has been the same with iOS 12 and iOS 13 as well I didn't notice any huge changes basically I got like the same battery life on both iOS versions. Versions. And last but not least, let's talk about whether you should update or not your iPhone SE to iOS 13. I think you should. iOS 13 is really really good, it works really flawlessly on the iPhone SE, I would say better than iOS 12 and of course you will get all the cool new features like the force touch, you will get the dark mode, the new volume hood and all that right here on the iPhone SE. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 13 videos and I'll see you on the next one.